When creating your PowerPoint slides, here is what I recommend. It's a little different from what Guy Kawasaki, some of the other PowerPoint mavens out there are recommending, but I believe wholeheartedly in this recommendation. I'll tell you why in a moment. Here is the recommendation. Limit any one slide to just one idea. Now, some of you say, well, TJ, that's crazy. I mean, I've heard of limiting it to just six bullet points or three bullet points, and each bullet point has to have a different idea. No. Limit each slide to just one idea. Steve Jobs wanted to introduce the iPhone. He put up one slide that had a, had a picture of a traditional cell phone. Put up another slide, a picture of an iPod. So what are we here to unveil today? Put together a new slide, the two blending together into the iPhone. People could instantly understand what it was. It was a cell phone and it was an iPod together. Simple, easy to understand. If you want to be wildly successful with your PowerPoint presentations and actually have people remember your concepts, this is the best practice. Now, it's an unusual practice. Most people don't do it this way. Am I saying put one word of text on the slide? No, I'm not saying that. In fact, I don't recommend you use text. We'll get to that in future episodes. But if you want to actually make it easier for your audience to remember and understand and grasp your concept, limit each slide that you project to just one idea.